Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial or I can say the very first tutorial of ISTQB specialist automotive software tester. In previous tutorial you understood more about what exactly this exam examination is and uh, how exactly the examination will be comprising of the structure, syllabus and uh, what type of questions can be expected. But yes right from here we will be getting into the details of each and every segment which is covered as a part of this tutorial and uh, we'll be trying to understand them in more detail. As a part of very first chapter which is called as introduction, we will be understanding more about this chapter, a basic outline that what exactly the introduction to automotive domain is and what we need to take care of and understand better. So as a part of this chapter, we will be understanding a lot of topics like requirement from divergent product objectives and in increasing the product complexity from time to time. 1.2 project aspects influenced by these standards. Number three, three the six generic phases in the system lifecycle. Number four, the contribution and participation of testers in the release process of an automotive project. To start with today, we will be covering the first basic introduction and uh, the requirements from divergent project objectives and increasing product complexity in this tutorial. Obviously, to talk about the introduction, uh, we do understand that one of the seven principles of software testing, which we learned in foundation syllabus, is context uh, testing is context dependent. And of course, not every project is tested with the same approach. So depending on the subject matter and the domain is really very important because not two different applications are tested at the same way. So we have different strategies, different approaches to be applied at any point of time in order to the understanding of the domain and they might require different intentions to test the application and they also have different effects in terms of uh, finding the quality of the product. So automotive is just not the same way how you work with a common project which could be a banking application, healthcare application or aviation software or probably any other safety critical devices. It has its own set of standards which we need to actually understand and follow and which generally goes with the electrical and electronic development process which is completely unique about making such uh, automobile devices and probably the applications behind that. So yes, in one hand when you talk about the divergent objective, the increasing complexity and high pressure for innovation leads, that is basically a special challenges. Because automotives are something which people uh, adopt as a part of luxury in their life and they, don't, they want it to be as per their needs. So we have been understanding right from the beginning when we started working with testing that testing is all about making sure that customer needs are met. But here your customers are variant, different customers. And every customer may have their own specific need in order to understand that, okay, I don't want this car to be like this. Though it is a car, but I want a feature something which allows me to do that. Probably having a dashboard which has multiple indicators or having a connectivity with my cell phone, synchronizing my Google Maps, my contacts and a lot many other things, right? So yes, this is what we are trying to understand from the point of the basic domain learning. That this domain is something which is very specific to every individual customer. And at the end of the day, if you don't meet the expectations of the customer, you are not fulfilling a quality product to them. Right? You're not delivering something which a customer may need and may not be uh, happy with your variants of the automobile which you'll be creating and maybe they will switch to another organization. So not only that, of course, we will, we will be trying to understand all such sort of things which might be creating a lot of variant and increasing the complexity. But at the same time, the team thrives to deliver the same thing with least cost possible at the earliest time with the highest quality of the product. And that's what we will understand in the next topic of this tutorial. As a part of this particular segment, the requirements from divergent project objectives. We have not only just a different project, but yes, we do have different objectives within each project. Because automobile is something which have different number of customers and with different intentions and expectations from the automobile and increasing the product complexity simultaneously. Because for a particular model of a car, you may have a number of variants. Because people might say, I don't want this, 
or I want this. So you cannot just create a static model and say that I've got only this option. So you customize based on the expectations of the customer and that further increases the product complexity. That's where we are very well trying to understand that what, how exactly these objectives are different and how we have to tackle that being an automobile engineer or a tester. So car makers and suppliers keep launching new car models more frequently as in the past. So that's one of the study which says that initially we had just limited models of different uh, organizations or different automobile uh, or companies and now we are having more models released every year in order to meet different set of expectations and under increasing cost pressure because at the same time if you increase the cost to do the same people might find that the automobiles industries are getting expensive and it's difficult to afford and you want to cater everyone so that the production can be improved and you may have more revenue generated from different people so there are different factors which we will consider in more detail to understand that how exactly these complexities are being increased and what do we mean by having end user expectations to be met for example the very first one is here is increasing number of models and complexity to be able to better meet individual and customers need oem that's your uh, oem manufacturers the original equipment manufacturer team so generally i hope we understand that it's not the bmw which is creating their all the parts within their organization they do get everything assembled for them so someone else will be creating different parts of the automobile and that's why we call it as oem as we want to give them the recognition that it's not the bmw which is creating the entire car all alone so original equipment manufacturer who finally actually creates the core part of different uh segments of an automobile they generally offer more and more car models however this reduces the con quantities per model to cover the resulting re increase in development and production cost producers develop several models as varieties of common platform and development of a platform however is far more complex than the development of a single model because of the need to keep control over the many possible variations. I think we were just talking about the same thing when it comes to the uh, user, independent user expectations. You, you do can you know, create different models with different variants of the same uh, you know, company. And you may have a number of features being differently deployed in different variants because people have different expectations from the uh, a automobile industry so same way here we just try to make sure that we are trying to increase increase as much features as possible but limit the quantity of each feature or each variant of that model so though we have different models but each model has different variants within that so you might have sunroof so that should be possible you may have uh, automated sensors ai concept is coming these days so you need to make sure that all these are met from time to time Another important aspect to understand is from the requirement point of view is increasing the range of functionality. People are looking for more functionalities in your automobile, feeling like you're just at home. So people are so technocrat these days when you get used to your cell phones or get used to your smartphones, smart TV, and a lot of AI concepts like, you know, have Alexa, Siri, and a lot of things. So we just want to make sure that uh, the same thing is being considered in your automobile as well. And the... Uh, ease of access is further enhanced so to the end customer request more and more innovation without omitting the existing functions which causes the range of functions to increase because you don't want to lose the properties or the features which you already have in your car and you want something over that 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 means that you are trying to increase the number of functionalities in the same equipment but not omitting the previous ones which generally creates a lot of complexity Additionally, when you talk about the increasing number of configurations, again, configuration is another important parameter of this. The end customer wants to adjust his car model to his individual wishes. So it must be possible to do that. It must be possible in order to move the windows to this color or probably like instead of having my tinting being done, I want a configuration which turns the color of the screen. So you do have power sensors. You have different you know, abilities to perform that. So it, it's just that what kind of configuration my user is looking. This requires many possible configurations for one car model, in fact, also in the range of functionality. So yes, 
It just depends on what my user want and try to make that, you know, adjustable. Just like settings. Configuration means settings in simple terms that if you want, you can have a dark theme. You want, you can have a white theme. So, you know, the same thing can be applied to any feature which you have in a variant. Also increased quality requirement. At the same time, we also look forward to have quality in the product. No matter you're trying to be as complex as possible, but if you don't deliver quality at the end of the day, then no matter what features you try to integrate, it doesn't work, then of course, people will not be happy with your product. So despite increasing the level of functionality and complexity, the end user expects at least the same or even a higher quality of the vehicle at its functions. So no compromise with the quality by increasing the complexity and number of features and functionality. So yes, as per the project objective, time, cost, and quality are competing, which is also known as project management triangle. I hope you have seen that triangle, which is generally a quality triangle. We also call it as project management triangle. Car makers and suppliers must strive for more efficient system development, which allows for shorter development times despite increasing the complexity, increasing quality requirements, and small budgets. So the main thing is that you are trying to penetrate a lot of things. You're trying to introduce a lot of features, functionalities to keep your customers happy with low time and low cost so that you feel that your customers can very well adapt your vehicle and automotive into the market. So that's where we are talking about the basic requirements uh, being uh, introduced from different uh, people, different users, and trying to make sure that you meet everything as much as possible with the minimum cost and minimum time making available to them. And yes, fulfilling every customer's need is actually making them delightful. And yes, you don't want to lose them. All right, so that's all from this particular tutorial theme. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to answer your queries and respond to them. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.